students i am here with another sample to find out one cation and one anion for proceeding we will start first with the anion test and for that we will do it very first with the dilute h2so4 and we will observe what is happening here and then we will proceed for the concentrated h2so4 and if still i will not get anything then we will move for the sulfate and phosphate test so let's start very first i am taking this small sample with this spatula here and i am adding here dilute h2so4 and we will see what will happen here this is your dilute h2so4 so just i am adding here little bit slowly and we can see here nothing is happening here inside okay so we will move for the concentrated h2so4 now we are going to add the we are doing the examination with the concentrated h2so4 and i have taken again a small sample and uh, adding here test tube holder because we are handling the concentrated h2so4 just be careful it is dangerous so i am adding little bit concentrated h2so4 here and we will observe something will happen or not i think uh, here it is no gas is going to be evolving and no smell is coming so now we will heat it little bit and we will observe if something will happen or not so nothing is going to be happen by heating we will heat it gently if otherwise it will bump it out so we will be very careful so i am heating it and nothing is happening here so it is near to boil and still no vapor is coming so we can conclude it with the concentrated rest of so forth no observation is happening here right so we can leave it and we will move for the next for the sulfate test because still now we have done with the dilute rest of so forth and concentrated rest of so forth and we have not got anything so we will move for the another test with the for the sulfate test it will come or not so very small amount of salt we will take here and we will make the clear transparent solution and then we will add the barium chloride so it is a bacl to test if sulfate will present here then after addition of bacl2 it will give you the white precipitate immediately otherwise it will remain as transparent then we will move for the phosphate test so i am going to add here barium chloride so this is your barium chloride here and i am going to add it here a little bit and we will observe sulfate is present here or not so just a moment so just observe it carefully i am adding bacl2 slowly and we will observe here so just it is going here yes you can observe it white precipitate is observing here so it means in this given sample sulfate is present here right okay okay students so we are going to test for the cation of the group 2 so this is we know that this is a group 2 salt then it will come otherwise when you will do for the unknown salt then you have to apply this method you have to do with the zero group first group second group third group and so on so i am going to make it clear solution and then we will add the group reagent can you tell me the group reagent for the second group any one of you so group reagent for group second is the h2s gas in presence of dilute hcl so i'm making it very carefully clear transparent solution of this salt with the distilled water and uh, just i'm shaking it it will give you the sky blue transparent solution and then we will add dilute hcl here so this is your dilute hcl i'm adding it here very small in very small amount so this is your dilute hcl i have added here now we will pass h2s gas and then we will observe what is going to be happen here so this is your h2s gas jugara kind of thing so i am passing it here if we will observe something is happening or not so this is a group 2 so some blackish or brownish dark brownish tpt is appearing you can conclude it here they are black tpt it means there may be a copper or lead so basically we are looking for the copper because lead is going to be uh, precipitated in the group first so we will looking for 
for the copper so we will test it here for the copper basically so this is your dark brown or black basically it is a black ppt you can observe it here in front of you it is appearing here and then after we will boil this black ppt in the dilute hno3 right so we have made it so this is your black ppt appear after passing the s2s gas now we will filter it out in the another test tube with this setup inside this your workman filter paper and slowly we will add here just uh, let it be wet and then we will uh, add the sample now now we are adding it here slowly that uh, it should be go for one place don't it will not be spread then we can collect it carefully so black activity here also so we can take it here only and we will start further okay so the black ppt we have got so i have just taken it out in the filter paper and we will just few amount of black ppt we will take here so i am going to add here dilute hno3 now i am adding cons, uh, dilute hno3 here this is your hno3 very small amount i am adding here in a very small amount and uh, little bit black ppt i am getting to the glass rod here this is in the glass rod i am putting here inside so and then after we will boil this solution very much gently we will boil it this black ppt inside here we are just boiling this solution black ppt let it be completely dissolved or almost supposed to be dissolved here okay so we have boiled it with the concentrate uh, dilute hno3 and we have taken out this transparent solution and then now we have to cool it down and then we have to add nh4oh ammonium hydroxide in excess then what we will observe look at by yourself i am adding ammonium hydroxide drop by drop here just you can conclude which color is appearing the deep blue color is appearing right so it is showing the copper may be present here can you observe very good blue color is appearing here is it clear so when you add little bit more it will be even more blue and whole solution will be your bluish in color now we have to confirm that this is a uh, showing that copper is present inside your sample for confirming it we will add here few drops of acetic acid and then we will add here potassium ferrocyanide it will give you the chocolate brown precipitate then it will confirm your copper's presence so this is your acetic acid i am adding here few drops i will add here just look at here one to two drops i will add here right so its color will little bit change from deep blue to sky blue its original so color whatever you have observed with the original solution and then this is your potassium ferrocyanide i am adding here just wait a moment i am adding it here slowly you can observe which color is going to be appear if dark brown will come then only you can see that copper is present so i am adding little bit here just look at here dark chocolate brown color is appearing it means in given the sample your copper is present here so here we have conclude that in the given sample the copper present as a cation and sulfate present as an anion so a given sample is copper sulfate thank you